Hey everybody, welcome to the Big Llama Show. I'm the Big Llama. This is the Big Llama Reacts channel, and we're going to be reacting to a wrestling match tonight. And I've got a special guest with me, none other than the Birdman himself, Jay Birdie. We're going to be watching the Royal Rumble 2000. This is the Triple H Mankind match. We can't wait to get into it. Let's get to it. Hey guys, welcome back to the Big Llama Reacts. I'm the Big Llama. Again, we've got a special guest, Jay Birdie, joining us. We're going to be doing a wrestling reaction. Again, the Royal Rumble 2000, uh, Triple H versus Mankind, the hardcore match. Can't wait to get into it. Before we do, guys, if you like, if you like these types of reactions, uh, please make sure to like and subscribe. We're going to have more wrestling reactions along the way. Um, Jay Birdie and myself will be here for these reactions, and I can't wait to get into them. Let's bring the Birdman on, and let's get right into the reaction. All right, here with Jay Birdie. We're about to get uh, into Royal Rumble 2000, Triple H versus Mankind. Dude, this is this is a classic match. My favorite part of the whole match is at the very beginning when he expects Mankind to come out and we get Cactus Jack. Uh, bang, <laughs> bang. You know, he yeah, comes he's... out with the trash can full of all the crap and he's getting ready to, you know, whoop some ass. No, I'm telling you. And, and it, had, it had the best buildup uh, yep. leading up to the Rumble. All right, so so we're gonna watch the match together. We're gonna give you our commentary as we're watching the match. Uh, it may or may it may or may not be edited for YouTube. I got to figure out what they'll allow me to play on YouTube. But we're gonna try to give you as much as the match as possible and give us give you our thoughts as we go through it. Oh yeah, first of all, put the fucking kids to bed. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we're gonna be enjoying you know? out of yeah. this. Put the fucking kids to bed. Unless you're a wrestling fan, to keep your fucking kids awake. They need to see this if they haven't already. Exactly. Cactus Jack's WWE debut. Jesus. Thank you, Terry Funk, for giving us Captain Jack. Exactly. Chainsaw Charlie. <laughs> Mrs. Foley's baby boy. Baby boy. I'm telling you, man, there's nothing like a JR called match, bro. I mean nothing that guy could narrate the phone book man and you would be like interested yeah. in the next one and you know he's notorious for not wanting to know the outcome of matches so that he can react to them like an actual sports commentator i think that's smart yeah i think that's really smart because yeah. i think i think the king doesn't know the, the outcomes either no he doesn't know right because you can uh, easily screw it up you know what yeah. I mean? Like if you know Mick Foley is gonna win, he goes for the pin. You can be like, "Oh, this is the, this is it," you know, and then yeah. screw it all up. Stephanie McMahon, oh. such, such a hottie. Uh, man, I wanted I wanted Stephanie McMahon so bad, man. Yo, those Good fucking, God, those chesticles of hers. <laughs> <laughs> you know. She was just insane. All started from an unconsensual marriage in a Vegas drive through <laughs> <laughs> One of the greatest Raws ever. Yeah. He grabs her hair and like, uses her jaw to talk to them. I do. <laughs> and that was, the, that was the test wedding. I remember I was like pumped. She was getting married to test that night. No. And he came out. Anyone anyone uh, have any objections? <laughs> that was a great, great, great time. Yeah, it was. Cena got to slap her ass. <laughs> There's an episode of Raw or SmackDown where he smacks her ass. I went to the Raw when they um, celebrated the, the um, D-Generation X coming back. It was in Miami or Fort Lauderdale. And they had balloon drops and everything. It was the, oh, the start man. of the McMahon Helmsley era. That's cool. Yeah, I went to a bunch of man. Never been to a live WWE event. Oh my god. It's content. it's weird. It's a weird dynamic because without JR, without the crowd noise, it's yeah. it's kind of weird. Now yeah. if the match is good, if the story is good, um it's it you feel it but if the match is kind of shitty like jr elevates every match yeah because i i sat through two hours of, of one event and i was bored to tears only because i it was it was one of the first events i went to and i, I wanted 
I wanted to hear Steve, Jr. telling me what's yeah. going on. And then, like when there's backstage promos, you just gotta watch it on a screen. You know, yeah, and they like play them. Screen. They play them randomly. Yeah, yeah. it's not even like synced to the timing. It's just yeah. like oh, That's random. Yeah. And at least on TV, they'll set it. Oh, what's going on backstage? <laughs> right, exactly. You know? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. But the talking has stopped. The action has begun. Nick is I mean, so true. good for a shitty wrestler. WWE title. Yeah, he is. He's so good. One of the greatest shittiest wrestlers we've ever had. This could end up I mean, Mick Mick Foley no makes you think you could do it. Anything like right, like like legal. as as a as an average yeah, Joe, right? Yes, like, I can get yes. in there. Yeah. <laughs> I can get my ear ripped off to the ropes. Oh no no! I I couldn't do half the shit that Foley did. I just think from a body wise, I was like, shit, I ain't that bad. <laughs> exactly. And he was doing some shit like the elbow drop off the apron. Yeah. You know. Uh, bang, bang. bang bang bang. <laughs> Foley Foley is God. Remember those signs? Oh my God! Yes. Or people who have the smiley face with the leather mask on it. <laughs> oh, I met the tie dye guy. Remember that guy who used to walk around? Oh, the tie dye guy. Yeah. He was at every match for a while, yeah. and uh, I I met I not I like ran into him while he was doing his sign thing. Except the challenge of someone that that earned. Was he the one? I know there was one WWE fan that was on Deer or No Deal, but I'm gonna have to look that up. And then Randy Orton showed up. Yeah. Oh. What I like is the bumps that, because Triple H can sell a bump, man. Like, oh, like absolutely. Nobody's business. Yeah. Unorthodox. I've never Unorthodox once questioned if if it was a fake move with Triple H. Like, no. He always made it look well, you believable. Know what, well, let's just say what he really is. You and he's not an overseller. You know, he sells it as if it, that's what happened to him. Right. Right. You know he's I mean? tired, like the right level of tired. Yes. You know, Shawn Michaels is an overseller, which he does fantastically. Ric Flair. Yeah. You know, they oversell shit, which makes the match when they're wrestling somebody who sucks. Think. Damn. I remember when they used to add the fake a fake bell noise, too. When they used to hit the, you, you would hear, like, ting. <laughs> yeah. And then it was guaranteed that every every pay per view Spanish announce table was going to go get trashed. That's the piece of the Spanish announce table every time. And look, that's not even one of those flimsy chairs. No, I randomly put on Facebook one time that's a piece of the Spanish announce table, and Rob was the first person to like it. <laughs> he was like, "If you know, you know." I was like, yeah, "Exactly." In this very event. Jesus. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Take that shit. Rocked it to him. Rocked it to him. My god. I remember that, that movie. That movie Beyond the Mat. Yes. Oh. When he was handcuffed. You yep. see, and, and the rock just kept tearing into him. I think the rock was a bit of a dick. Absolutely. He says a dick now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's just a cool guy so if everybody's okay with it yeah because i think that i think he teed off on cactus jack and then on uh, mick foley that, that was that was bad yeah like 23 times or something with his kids right. in the crowd driving it right into the face of the champion the talent has got the cover i mean i guess if we're gonna do it to anybody <laughs> you know that's who you, you he wouldn't do it to farouk no, 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 no. Undertaker, you know, get gas for Right. He fully just gets mad at you for a couple days. Exactly. Shouldn't have done that, Rocky. And you know, like, the thing about Mick, like, even in this match, his move set is pretty basic, but, like, yeah, it's the story he's telling with the move set, and it's Triple H's reaction. So it's, you know, he's not doing anything spectacular. No. Triple H selling it. I know he's from Greenwich, so the, it's you know, from his, his best so move the is a three foot they elbow drop off the apron to the ground <laughs> or a double arm DDT. <laughs> right, right. You know, that's used as a transition move today. Yeah, there's some move finishers that are weak. But, uh, yeah. yeah, people's elbow. It was. You know, yeah, the most electrifying Rock bottom, move. Though. Rock bottom, yeah. The fucking, it's a backdrop. <laughs> You know, or the bookend, depending on who you ask. Right. In the crowd. Yeah, I mean, this is this is in, this is an insane level of like exposure. People are fighting in the crowds. I I, I guarantee you. Oh yeah. Look at this little redhead guy right here. 
<laughs> Looks like the new Nas. That kid with the bandana. Yeah, oh your hands off this dude. Jacket, yeah. He's going to be the coolest dude in middle school tomorrow. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Hector, I saw you. I like how they make it look like a street, though, just because of this match. Right, because of the street fight. Yeah. yeah. And that's where all the shit is. Yep. Now, look at that. That's that's uh, pallets, right? Like old ass yep. pallets. Look at that. They're breaking that are, apart the yeah. nails. <laughs> Oh, man. I think I, I think this is the match that Triple H lacerates his leg uh -huh. on the pallet. Yeah, right there. You can see it hit. Yeah. He's in excruciating pain right now. Yeah, I think he said he felt his his boot get all bloody, or he get like wet. He didn't understand what it what, what was going on. There's like two or three wrestling injuries, man, that are like devastating to watch. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like devastating. So, so here he's got a, a fucking a pallet to the leg with, with nails and shit. And he's lacerated. Uh -huh. <laughs> and he's just and keeps they, going. Yeah. And they go for another like 20 minutes after this. Yeah. I agree he's a great champion, but this just may not be his. I'll time. tell you what, I get lacerated by some <laughs> a pallet or some nails. That's the end of the night for me. Yeah. It was like, go home, Mick, go home. <laughs> right, right, right. Let's go three, three. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah, that's it. I don't know that anything. It's worse than when Kurt Angle is throwing Shane through the glass. Oh my God! No. The wrong glass, like three times, and just kept bouncing him off the ground. We're gonna have to watch a Shane McMahon match too, yes. because he took he took some crazy bumps. Yeah. Oh, Shane man. versus Vince. Yeah, that was yeah. that was pretty good, man. Vince is a good performer in the ring too. He gives which, it all which, for this company. Right. It's surprising. It's surprising yeah. that. But I think the pressure is on him. Like, if you're the owner and you're the owner's son, you yeah, you yeah. kind you, you kind of want to sell out because you know everybody's looking at you. You either have to stay out of the performing 100% or you have to give it your all when you're in there. Yeah. And he let Shawn Michaels jump 35 feet or whatever and elbow drop him through a trash can. Yeah, exactly. You know, Bill Gates ain't doing that with Microsoft employees. <laughs> you know? True. You know, you think Elon's like power bombing through a Tesla? Well, maybe yeah. Elon. <laughs> maybe Elon for the views. If, if Joe Rogan asked him to do it. Oh, look at this, God. man. The shots. So he's he's, he's connecting. Yeah. There's some connecting there. There's, there's no. No, you have to. Oh. And that's when you get a receipt later on in the match. Bang, you, you know, yep. bang. You know, instead it. of hitting you with the flimsy side of the chair, they'll turn it around when they hit you with it. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Look at this. Right. Backdrop on the. Let's see how his head bounces. Look at his leg. You can see. Look at his leg. Yeah. So this this match is just epic, man. This is. And that's what I'm saying. Like Triple H knows how to to pace. Yes, and how and how to sell the the oh shit the barbed wire. That shit always scared me, man. Mick is all show. See that man? It, it just took him two minutes to bang bang and to take the thing from underneath the ring. Yeah, and the whole crowd is like, "Yeah, Lucille, <laughs> walk him up." <laughs> and Triple H is ca carefully like you know yeah. selling the the the, the story. I'll tell you, man, to me, Triple H is a goat, man. He's up there. He's up there. Watching him grow up, I feel like he, because of his power, always inserted him in the main events. You know what I mean? So yeah. sometimes I was like, hey, come on, Triple H. I, I don't need to see you again. Yeah, exactly. Go wrestle a mid Carter and, and let him go up the ladder. Damn. I, I love the fact that Nick brings out the, the, the weapon. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> used on him. Oh, look, he got stuck to him. You see, he got stuck to him. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. And now, now I can see the Triple H's leg even more. Yeah. Like the, the, the blood. The Triple H, did he ever win a Rumble? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think he's ever won a Rumble. I think he's always been part of the main event card anyway. So he yeah, doesn't have to win thing. a Rumble. No, yeah, that's the whole thing. He was always champion going into Mania. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh. But the first elimination you, chamber, he had to be there. You know, yeah. Shawn Michaels' comeback, he had to be there. Yeah. You know? Boy. Uh, there it is. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, man. I, it's got to be some trust for you to do that. Low yeah. blow with fucking barbed wire in a <laughs> Spanish announce table. Man. It's still up. Get rid of it. <laughs> this is a slobber knocker. The Spanish announce table is probably like going to use it at the next guy who tries to pull that shit. Yeah. Out. <laughs> that, that would be amazing. And that's what Earl Hebner is the, mm -hmm. the ref. You remember the double Earl Hebner? Yeah, the, he had his twin brother. The twin? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember being a kid watching that shit and was like amazed. Yeah, that's <laughs> the two of them. <laughs> Uh, oh no, that's the Spanish announcer. <laughs> Look how he's laying there on the chair. <laughs> <laughs> One shot and he's laying on his back. Oh my god, he's out. Come on, let him use it on Triple H. He's got no shirt on. Do this. Like during hardcore matches and like no disqualification matches. Like, get the yeah. fuck out of the way. <laughs> you know? Now, at this point, either that barbed wire cut him or he bladed himself. Yes. He's probably blading himself, which is why you don't see him on camera. Right, right. You know. Is he bloody already? It seems that way. I, oh, yeah, no, that's, he is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's from his leg. Oh my god. You know what's always cracked me up too? Like they'll have a no DQ match, they'll fall out of the ring and the rep starts counting the ten. And it's like, well, for what? Like, what are you gonna do when you get the ten? It's no DQ. <laughs> I, I love the fact that how slow the count goes. It's yes. Like, 45 second ten count. <laughs> Damn. And then when the wrestler thinks it's taking too long, they slide back in the ring to so make it go back to zero, get back out of the ring again. <laughs> The tricks we didn't know when we were watching, right? So he definitely played himself because it's right at his hairline. Yeah, it is. It's right where his. Oh my god! You ain't gonna sell that. No, that shit hurts. Let it go. This has gotta be stopped. There's been some gruesome blade jobs too in the WWE. Yeah. Eddie Guerrero is the first one that comes to mind. For sure. The blood just squirted across the ring. Even JBL looked at him like, he's like what did I do to you? <laughs> yeah, he sliced the shit out of himself. You can see the whole cut across his forehead. Yeah, yeah, he, he did it. He took a good, nice one there. That's because he doesn't want the blood to stop. I hate when that happens. They blade themselves, and four minutes later, the blood's just gone. Because they just yeah. poked themselves with it. Yeah, look at the slash right across his forehead. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's too clean for the barbed wire. Yeah. It couldn't have happened to a nicer champion. <laughs> JR sometimes is, is straight up dick mode. <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. Oh, I like how they all slowly get out of the way. Like, if this is right, a real right. fight, somebody got thrown on the table next to you, you'd be out of there. <laughs> yeah, and, they, and look, Foley forgot to remove the TVs. Yep. Like, there's a guy moving the TV. <laughs> he just moved it from Triple H's face. <laughs> Oh, this is the pile driver. Yes, right there to the table. Oh, no, no, no. You know, the back slap. That's, that's a, yeah. Oh, he did a break. Oh. Oh. And, and I think he hit his leg on the TV. Yeah. That's a Triple H, um, what do you call like a spot right there. He's always backdrop people onto the table. Yeah. I remember one time they didn't remove the TVs and Randy Orton fractured his, or ruptured his spleen. Jesus. On the table, he, they caught a RKO Batista bomb to Daniel Bryan. And when he oh RKO, the, the TV hit him right in the spleen. And they went like another 25 minutes after that. See, had he hit that, that pile driver, I would have been. Oh, right impressed. on his. Oh, right on his thigh. Yeah. 
Foley is hurt, man. He's hurt at this point. Yeah, look at the cameras they have. In the wheels? In the wheel? <laughs> <laughs> My God, this is a war. Our table's been destroyed here. <laughs> you gotta give credit to Triple H. Yeah, at least the Spanish <laughs> announced table is still there for now. He's got three more matches to go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, that's Triple H. He's like, I get, the, I get the actual table. Right. You guys get the Spanish one. <laughs> Damn. There it is. There's oh the. My God. Dude's it's been bleeding since that the hole, too, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He he said he had um. A piece of wood stuck in there. Oh my god! No way that feels good. No, look, and he's pressing on it right there. Yeah. And he's bleeding from his forehead too, man. That's a lot of blood. Oi! That's a good observation too. He's not gonna hit him with the barbed wire. He ain't got no shirt on. Right, right. Yes. He's not. He's not gonna slap unless unless this was ECW. Yeah, then you see the flesh pull out of the back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The monitors are table, yeah. everything covered. And that bar oh, I love thumbtacks too. I think they're coming. <laughs> yeah, they are definitely coming. Yeah. Yep. I don't think I've ever seen any title match anywhere. Here we go. Jesus. Mick looks good here compared to what it looks like now, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. This was, good here. This was uh, prime Mick, right? Yeah. <laughs> he's, in, yeah. he's in decent shape. Yeah. That's 368 pounds. The, oh. the knee off the steps, man. Jesus. <laughs> it hurts me watching it now. The 3,000 pound steel steps. <laughs> Those are the big ones, right? Now yeah. they're like aluminum, but those yes. were the, the heavy ones. They always had different weights for them, too. They'd be, they'd be like, oh, the two-ton steel steps. Oh, the 500-pound steel steps. Like, <laughs> things weigh 42 pounds. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He yeah. <laughs> said his children. <laughs> look at this. Look, look at his Watch leg. His leg. Oh, Damn. That, there's no faking that. No, no faking that. Ah, <laughs> Oh, fire extinguisher. Oh, there is it. Yeah. You can yep. see it. And I don't care how tough you are. If you can't stand, you're going to have you a hear that guy just screaming Triple H in the background. <laughs> yeah. I heard, like distinct in my ear. <laughs> Triple H. I love you. Where's he getting the That guy's got Jordans on the cameraman? He's a stud. There's no doubt about it. I guess. It could be. It's 2000. They're at their peak there. Has taken his game to another level here tonight. Or maybe a new law. I mean, well, and I'm telling you, this this is entertainment. Doing, in, like in in the arena, so this far, is like entertaining. Yeah, they're going everywhere. Yes. It's just There's it's blood. a little bit of everything. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, is he going to do, do the rope thing? Does he do the rope thing when he gets caught in the ropes? Like, I think thing? so. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. This is. You know, I was watching the movie The Wrestler. I'm actually doing a reaction for it. Oh yeah, I love that movie. Oh my God! That's I've never seen it. It was great, um, but I like the fact that they talk about like, hey, you can't use the leg. You can't go for the leg. I'm using the leg tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it, like it made me think like, wow. Sometimes they do that. Like you don't have the guy going for the same move every time. Yeah. Otherwise, every match is boring. But you should see Triple H. You know that's what's gonna be hard too with being the main event, and you have to hope that none of the other matches use your big spot. Right. Like you know. Or you have to change it at the end. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know, because the third match in did a moonsault. You're like, well, I was going to do a moonsault. But, uh... Yep. Staggering out here. Yeah. It's got to suck if that's your finish, though. So, yeah, exactly. Oh, there they are. Oh, no, no, no. This, oh, this, this is the handcuffs. Yeah. Why is he got them in, in the same bag? <laughs> Why is he having a little satchel? A little, uh, it's Stephanie's satchel. <laughs> <laughs> I, bet you, I bet you it is. Yeah, he got it out of her broom. Oh, he didn't even put the handcuffs on. You see Mick try to hold his own hands behind his back? <laughs> yeah. It didn't work. And see, that's the, you got to improvise, man. Yeah. That's the... That's the great. The great ones can improvise even when they fuck it up. You know? yeah, there it goes. There he's trying to hold his own hands behind his back. That's hilarious. And then he's like, that arms like drop. He's like, uh. 
<laughs> you know what's funny is um you notice how long those handcuffs are like for his yeah. arms yeah this is bad as this has been to now oh. it's been to get worse it's been to get a lot worse if I ever got arrested, I would need those handcuffs because I yes. can't put my arms back there like oh, that. They had they had to double cuff me <laughs> when that when it happened. I was like fourteen. <laughs> I got I got zero mobility in my shoulder, so I would yeah, need no, the yeah. double cuffs. The I had torn rotator cuffs and shit. All along. Cool. Remember the street fight. Oh, Everything you have seen is Fat guy problems. Don't get arrested. <laughs> so, exactly. You cannot touch the palms of your hands behind your back. <laughs> uh oh, four thousand pound steps. Four thousand pound steps. The steel steps into the ring. Oh, what's he gonna do with those? Oh no. Cactus Jack is helpless. The little things that make us wrestling fans laugh. Yeah. Two, I'm telling two, you. Oh look, look the bag. Oh no, that's not okay. I thought he fucked no, no, up and got the the thumbtack bag from the steps. Yeah. No, no. Oh, yep. I think that's the first kind of eh. yeah. <laughs> mid botched move. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look like Rocky Five. <laughs> oh, I had a bunch of nuts. Did he just separate his shoulder? The testicles of the game. That's crazy, yeah, because he's got nowhere to take his. Oh, he's biting him. <laughs> he's biting him <laughs> on the blood face. Probably licking his ear and shit. Yeah, probably. I would be. That'd be so funny. <laughs> you know, what can he do right now? Nothing. <laughs> right. Yeah, he can. He can. He cannot throw his arms back for the bump. He can't. Yeah, no. That's 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 gotta suck. So he just got to take the bump. Like, he's got to, like, yeah. Mutilated ear. Half of it gone. Yeah. I've ear. watched enough episodes of Tough Enough. Yeah, exactly. I know about the bumps. Yeah. What Triple H say is, uh, yeah, your ball's coming out of your shorts right there. You got a big ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that chair's broken. Uh -huh. Yeah, now, now those are just shots, man. You cannot, you cannot fake that shit. No. He, look, he just had to fall out the ring, bro. It's like a three foot drop. Yeah. With with no with no arms. Like you have to throw no, your man. arms. Yeah. For the love of God, someone get those handcuffs off of him. Don't let him rest, Triple H. You gotta stay on him. You gotta finish him somehow. You gotta Jesus. put him away. He was always JR, I mean the king was always for the heel. Yeah. I I love that about the king. And he loved them puppies. I love them puppies. And then the, Jr. was always like who the like the regular guy was. Mick Foley, Stone Cold, yeah. Neil Ace. It didn't matter. <laughs> the regular dude. See, this is this is again. You could just be like beating each other, but no, let's take a break. <laughs> Talk shit. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him, man. He's about to get it right in the mouth. Oh, the oh I forgot he comes yeah, in this yeah. match. Some bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Rock. I think the Rock really hated Triple H. Like, like. Yeah, probably. Either that, or they sold it like huge. I mean, the cop came to take the cuffs off. <laughs> yep. That police officer just. What? That's not a police officer. It's a wrestler. No. <laughs> He's, he's got a fake like uh, stripper cop costume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he'll put this random red bandana on his arm. Put it out there. Give him a hat. I think you're exactly right. And now Triple H is being hammered. Here, just miraculously not hurt anymore. Let's go. <laughs> yep, yep. As I'm saying, like Tri Triple H still looks hurt, and he's still yeah. you know limping. Mick is just all right. I got adrenaline. Yeah. Here we go. Now Spanish announce table. They got both tables to the, tonight. And it looks like they fixed Mick. the other one. They didn't actually break. Just the top fell through. Yeah. Mick, Mick. take yeah, the Mick. TVs off. Oh no. Oh, oh the ass. <laughs> the cheap <G> street. <laughs> The table didn't break either, bro. I know, I know. You fucked up that move. Oh, he fucked up that move. I mean, 
Well, sometimes the tape, the tables just don't break, dude. Right, right. You know. When that's when it hurts the most, JR. that one match, he goes to the pedigree, hits it, table doesn't break. Goes to hit the pedigree again. Mid pedigree, the table breaks, it breaks. and they just <laughs> fell down. He's down. He's nearly and out. hurt the shit out of themselves because they didn't have no time to adjust. Jesus. There's got to be a better way. Like one of the announcers could definitely be holding like a string, you yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. pull it, you know, <laughs> pre-cut it. I don't know Just something, something man. you know, take a bolt out. <laughs> you know? I think the, I yeah, think the table. Go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's a big bag of tax, dude. That's fucking huge, what man. It's, it's insane. Now it is the tax the size of the handcuff bag. They drop like they drop like twelve tax on the ground. <laughs> See this right here, man. Oh man. There's no faking this shit right no. here. But that's gotta sting. You know what I'm saying? Like I yeah. it probably doesn't like hurt like getting hit in the head with a chair. But it's gotta sting. And it's definitely gonna be McFoley because he's got a shirt on. Right, exactly. No, they, they, they both go through, I think. It's like a side a pedigree, right? I think so. I think I think they both do. I think the, 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 the tease is that Triple H is about to fall. Yes. That's the tease, tease, tease. And then, you know, yeah. And, the, like, everybody in that crowd is, like, like cringing right now. Look, he rolls. Look, he rolls all over it. <laughs> Leave his ass. It's in his ass crack. <laughs> oh my god! The fuck out of here with that shit. The love of God. No. Oh, See that? Okay. That's the pedigree outside of it. Yes. Nobody gets up from the pedigree. You know what nobody's ever thought about doing is like take your opponent's shoes off and like atomic drop them onto the fucking. Oh. The I, I don't think anybody would go for that. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not doing it. <laughs> you know, I think they'd be like, "Fuck that!" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the minute you take off my shoe, I'm kicking you for real. <laughs> <laughs> for real. I told you I'm not doing the spot. Oh, there it is. Oh my god! But you have eyeballs, dude. Oh, it's right in his head. It's in his head. And then now it's on Triple H's knees. Yes. Look at that, Damn. dude. Oh. He got bedazzled. Look at it. Oh, and he landed on his knees, the bottom of the shoes. See, that's what I mean. You take those shoes off, bro. That is not going to be a good time. Never, never. You didn't even take any bumps, Triple H. Shut the hell up. Get out of the ring. Right. <laughs> Fuck out of the ring. He just got pedigreed on thumbtacks right Fully got the worst of this exchange. <laughs> at, at least give him the championship for, yeah, for taking the tax right no they give it to him on a raw <laughs> right <laughs> you know which is probably the greatest pop in wwe history oh my god it it's when stone be. cold came out it's a hit him with the chair and drag mcfoley over now i always i always watch the paramedics Yes. Um, well, I can tell when they were real and when they were fake. <laughs> look at yeah, this. look how slow it took them to get the gurney to Triple H. Right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, his his calf is fucked up. So on the way out, I wonder if he was like, oh, you guys are real medics? Because I need one. Right. My leg is killing me. <laughs> Jesus. I don't think he's feeling anything at that point. Like, no. they're just running on it. Look, he's on his neck. In his neck, dude. <laughs> But see, look, oh, when, when, the, long when as a ref, yeah, when the ref is pulling the the gurney, yeah, you know they're yeah. fake. They're fake. The makeup on the freaking the kick. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. She's Teddy Long as the ref is hilarious. Yeah, exactly. It's so. My Kyoto, Kyoto's in there. Kiyota. I see him. Yep. He's trying to get his hands back on Helmsley. How do you go from a ref to general manager of SmackDown, though? I don't know. You just play a role, man. You just play a role, yeah. Cactus Jack is not through. <laughs> I love this right here. Uh, <laughs> there he is. That's Kyoto. <laughs> Get those handcuffs back out. Cuff him. Oh, Young old Teddy, Teddy Long. When you need <laughs> My Play God, their bodies have been ravaged. But they continue to fight. Oh, there's the other referee. Like the one that they were, remember they the killed every the week? The yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, I got his name. Oh, Tim a referee Iron Man, uh, Iron Man match. Cactus yeah. So they just put the gurney back together. I was good to that. Sergeant Slaughter. Sergeant Slaughter. 
Sergeant Slobber. Her husband <laughs> been ravaged. At least he gets to come out to his own song. Right, exactly. He got one more uh one more move on the triple H there. That any of us have ever witnessed. That's uh, Stephanie Mann just uh just after boot job. <laughs> so hot. Prime Stephanie. Prime Stephanie. Some may argue she's in her prime today. She does look pretty good, man. Yeah. And she's always been older than me, so she's been a milf my whole life. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> yeah, she's so hot right there. Exactly. No wonder where Macho tapped at. <laughs> I know. The Macho tapping thing is, is insane. That's I don't agree point. with her being 12. But it's right, you know, oh, right. he was looking into the future. <laughs> yeah, time traveling glasses. Oh, because she was like a child, and he was like in his forties. <laughs> oh know? man, people want to talk shit about Elvis, but <laughs> Macho Man had like thirty-two years on this chick. So that's the match. I mean, it, it's a classic for a reason. It's it's even us just looking at the match, knowing the outcomes, knowing what was gonna gonna happen. It was, it was just like you can you can feel the energy, you can feel the cringe every time the the tax were in it. I mean, I love that match. I, I absolutely love that match. Ah, it's fantastic. You know, it's a street fight. Mick Foley. He could have been in there with a with a mop bucket. You know, and it would have been one of the greatest street fights we've ever seen. You know, exactly. and then you, then you put Triple H in there with, a, with the Rock for two twenty two seconds. You know, and we get a masterpiece. And that was the pre-Rumble match. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's, again, that's why I think back then, back in that era, um, there was some ones up, one upsmanship. Like, they they were out to steal the show. Every single yeah. one on the card. Mid-card, when you had the Hardys, the Dudleys, um, Edge and Christian, you yeah. know, all these guys wanted to steal the show. Yeah, and and I think, I think that's what made that era so good. Even the mid Carters knew they could steal the show, take a nasty bump. They could, yeah, and and, and it was going to be spectacular. But I don't know. Today, they take the big bumps, but there's nothing that goes with it. There's not a story that goes with. It. I, at least that's my opinion on today's. Versus so my big problem with today's wrestling is that I feel like they already decide on who is going to be the guy. And they yeah. just force them down our throats. And they're like, Roman's the guy. This guy's the guy. That guy's the guy. You're going to like it. You know, back then, they started as Intercontinental Champion, United States Champion. And they're like, wow, the crowd really likes Stone Cold. Let's give him the real title. <laughs> you know, it was earned. You know, most of the mid carters in this era, five, six years later, were main eventers. Yeah. You yeah. know the no, Ed, everybody you just named Edge, Christian, and the Hardys. They all had main main card main event runs, right? Right. As solo and, performers. Yeah, and and they had the, the talent behind it, and they had the work ethic. I mean, yeah. it's true. Like like again, Vince McMahon has always been cartoonish in how he picks the you know who was going to be on top. But I think he had a stable of wrestlers at that time between Stone Cold, The Rock, Triple H. Um, you know, the you had, you had a slew of others that yes. were all kind of stepping on top of each other, and so there couldn't be one that was crammed down your throat. Yes, there was a champion, yes, but there was also The Rock, and there was also Stone Cold, and then these guys were doing a thing. Triple H had Degeneration X. Shawn Michaels was coming back. I mean, Jericho. it was yo Jericho. Yeah, I mean Undertaker. Yeah, it was. Oh yeah, you know, I forgot about the Undertaker. this. Is, this he, is the Undertaker Kane era, right? Right. You know? This is when they were feuding as well. Yeah. I mean, it's it's it, it 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 goes to show you that like that's what is needed is the competition and the the rivalry, and then let the fans tell you what it is that they want. And I think that's how that's how I felt during that era. It was like, okay, you got behind a wrestler and you cheer. You know, again, it, oh, Kurt Angle was another one, right? Like, yeah, Kurt you know, Angle, the, the great heel. Right, right. So it, that's I think what's missing today is the, is the the storyline that goes with it. Now it's just like, well, how do we sell the pay per view for the month? And we, you know, and and, and I, listen, what was it? Stone Cold and The Rock uh, main yeah. evented three WrestleManias, three in a WrestleManias row? in a row. I mean, 
that's, that's crazy. commitment. That's yeah. commitment. And, and listen, every time they did, the story was fresh. So it wasn't yes. like it was the same old shit. Yep. You know. And then the third mm-hmm. one was like, this has been going on for four or five years. You guys love it. It's Stone Cold's last match. Here's 30 minutes of greatness. Enjoy it. Exactly. You know, and Stone Cold hits the rock with the with the rock bottom. The rock hits Stone Cold with the stunner. You know, he puts Stone Cold's vest on. Yeah, you know, no, it, it's crazy. It's insane. And, and you know, and we're gonna and this is the thing. We're gonna get to those reactions on the on the channel. So yeah. um, this is what we're gonna do. So guys, if you liked this reaction, if you liked us watching matches and you'd like to see some more, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, hit us up in the comments. What are the matches that you guys want to see? Uh, you know, Birdie and I are are huge wrestling fans. Uh, it may not always be Birdie and I. We may be bringing a couple other people with yeah. us. We're trying to get AD on here. So, guys, hit us up in the comments. Let us know what matches you want to see us react to. We'll talk through them. We'll give you our thoughts and uh, what's going on in our brains as we're watching them again. And, uh, Birdie, got anything, any parting shots before we uh, conclude tonight's watching? Like Lama said, you know, whatever matches you want us to see, put them in the comments. Must be in color, though. I'm not watching Bruno San Martino. I'm not watching, you know, <laughs> Jimmy Superfly Snooker in 1962 jump off Andre's head. I'm not watching it. I don't care how many of you guys jump in there and say, oh, I want you to. Sp-. No, I'm not watching Hogan, Andre, WrestleMania 3 either. Anything else? Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm there. You know, if it ends with a big boot to a leg drop, I don't want to see it. <laughs> exactly. All right. <laughs> exactly. Well, guys, again, thank you so much for joining us on Big Llama Reacts. Again, you've watched the wrestling reaction. We'll see you guys on the next one, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Peace out, everybody. Get him, uh, first off, I don't care what you people say. Never follow.